cool kids. How are you? Ooh yeah, ooh yeah. It's time to talk that smack. Ooh yeah, ooh yeah. Let's look at stuff we get. Uh, uh. Evie! What's up, Evie? Woo! It's an Eva! Cannabis Sativa! Woo! Cool kids! I have exciting news for you if you're ready to hear it. So, I'm looking at. The websites, you know, I like to check every once in a while. Even the, you know, I don't buy a lot from the major dealers. But when I do, you know, if I see a deal, I, I grab it. Case in point, well, I'm about to show you. Okay. So, I did a video a couple months ago when I bought this. I got all this for 217 bucks uh, a couple months back. Here's a little one ounce round, or bar, sorry. Might be the, only, the like the third bar I ever got. Here's a cool Britannia and a lovely, not so great Rue. Gotta be honest, not a fan of the design, but when they're on sale, I'm good with them. Uh, but we'll save that for a second because it's the whole point of this video. Um, and then of course these, I despise the design, but I love the price. And the milk spots don't bug me one little bit because an ounce of silver is, that's right, an ounce of silver. So what we have here are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ounces. Okay, and we paid what, $217.60. So, let me do some quick math. You know, I'm looking at that. That seems rather steep, doesn't it? Oh. Oh, okay. It's eight ounces. Ah, that makes more sense. 27.21 makes a lot more sense. I'm like, why on earth would I buy that? Okay. <laughs> so, you saw the first six ounces. Here's the final two. And what I wanted to tell you guys is... ASEs, right? Check the premiums on them. Yep. Now, I'm not telling you to buy because I can't give investment advice. Plus, I, I think they might go lower. I just wanted to point out to you that the premiums are way down. You still can't get one for $27.68 like I did. But, you might be able to get one for $30 and that that would be something, wouldn't it? Uh, hmm. How do I feel about this? I feel like we're not there yet. On a, uh, if you're asking my personal advice, which I'm not giving because I don't give financial advice, I don't think we're there yet. But I don't think, I don't think it's the worst thing you could do buying one at thirty dollars XX. Does that make sense? So like. In the grand scheme of silver coin buying, right? You could do a lot worse than a $30 ASE. That's what I'm saying. Uh, does that mean a, it's a go, go, go? No, it's not a go, go, go. It's still uh, six bucks over melt. And which is way better than 20 bucks over melt. Or 10 bucks over melt. But the good thing is the premiums are coming down. Um, and that, you know, I remember when silver hit, you know, 50. Those premiums on those ASEs dropped like a stone as silver went up. I, I just want you guys to know that. Anyway, uh, yeah, just, just think about it for a second while we look at EVA. So, ASEs. The price has dropped dramatically. Now, who's this bad for? It's bad for sellers who bought in when the premiums were high. That's who it's bad for. If you were paying 
$40 for an ASE, you're going to be pretty devastated right now. So, I guess what I'm saying is, cool kids, it's now okay, okay, to buy ASEs. If you say you're uh, 30 bucks away from getting to your $199 uh, shipping cap, right? Buy an ASE. It's okay. You know, is it is it better than a koala? I mean, I I think so. I think it's better than a koala. What's a koala around these days? I don't know. I know these cost me. Hold on. Uh, eighty-eight dollars for three of them. So let's see here. Um. Twenty nine fifty three each. So, I mean, we're in the ballpark of an ASE right now. Um. So, I mean, that's that's good, right? You can stack this stuff. I don't. I, you know, uh, this was part of the consortium monthly grab uh, a while back. I didn't actually pick this. I it just it, I put in my. A third of it and that's what I got and I was like eh I've seen worse oh you know I keep telling you guys <laughs> yeah these are the jam man these are the tits these uh oh yeah oh yeah you can get these I'm telling you guys these these are what you want right here uh, you want silver near melt, and uh, I, I, I think it's a sharp coin. I don't know why it doesn't get any love, and especially considering how many were melted. And which ones are melted, you ask? Well, I, I said it, mentioned it in a few videos back, but we'll go through it again. These right here, these uncirculated ones, are half as uh, available twice as scarce as the proofs so if you're wondering which one to get and now don't get me wrong let's let's look at them side by side the proof is i mean it's a sharp sharp looking coin uh the uncirculated strike is it has its own charms you know but here we'll look at the other side um But, yeah, the proof, I think, blows the, the uncirculated coin away. And I get why people ordered these more than these, all things being equal. The thing is, this coin's a lot, it's twice as scarce as this coin. A million of these were melted, I think it was. Or it might have been 100,000. It was quite a few of them were melted. And there's 2 million, I believe, total. Don't quote me on that. That's just off the top of my head. Uh, so right around what the Colombian half was in 1892 and 1893. So my question is, can you get a can you get a Colombian half under mount? Yes, you can. Is it very often? Not very. Uh, usually you're going to pay a little premium on those. Not as much as you'd expect, though, given the age of the coin. So, uh, you could you could actually I'm going to say this you could actually stack stack Colombian halves and do all right, um, which is kind of crazy to think about. Now you're going to be well above melt, but what isn't? You know, if silver goes up enough, it's going to be fine, and you'll definitely be able to sell them later. Uh, there's some Australian stuff, but the point is back to the point of this video ASEs are on sale right now compared to what they've been if you've been looking for a chance to get in on some ASEs This might be the time for you. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you that it beep 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 premium alert premium alert beep, bleep, bleep, dee, 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 dee. The premiums are down the premiums are down The premiums they're that look hidden Canadian stuff secret Canadian 
man, uh, like a half a roll. Better finish that roll off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had to go to the undisclosed storage spot, and you know, I just never know what I'm going to find <laughs> when I grab a a bag of goodness, you know. Uh, but uh, I knew there was an ASE in here. There's just one. No, that's not true. Actually, hold on. I lied to you guys. There's actually a whole freaking roll of ASEs. Now that I think about it. Yay! We like ASEs. You know what else there's a roll of? Alright. There's a roll of these. Very fun coin. I like them. I'm a fan. If you have any of these, let me know. If you want to make Josh happy, send him one of these. Yeah, forget what you heard. Send me these. Send me your 100 francs. Uh, Pitefords. I will uh, gobble them up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I have... Uh, you know, there's only 5,000 of these in the whole world, and I own like 20 of them. I'm, I'm telling you, it's... And I, I've gotten them under melt, man. Under melt. Yeah, so I mean, I'm just, I probably shouldn't even say nothing because I'm, I'm going to turn you guys on to this stuff, man. Yeah, yeah, uh, then that's fine. You know what else is in here? My treasured, wonderful, cool, look at this. Now, I'm not going to say who sent me this stuff, but you know who you are. Yep, these are in the, yeah, I told you that I wasn't getting rid of them. <laughs> somebody but uh there they are man there they are and then uh you know look i like a good 10 ouncer um i only have two of these but i you know i imagine just you know the oomph of this what you i mean you could you could do some cool stuff with this and make a fine paperweight but uh you know, I've always, uh, you know, one of these days, one of these days, I might, I might be in, uh, on, in the market for a hundred ouncer. There, I said it. You know, at a certain point, you only need so much, uh, fractional. And it becomes time to get as much silver as you can for your buck, you know? And, you know, there are, there are people that poo-poo the hundred ounce bar because you don't get a premium back. But guess what? It's just like this Canadian stuff. If you buy it at a negative premium and you sell it at a similar negative premium or for spot, which, you know, I'd argue is possible, right? How can you bitch? You know, how can you complain? If I, uh, now if I were to buy one of these pieces of garbage for, you know, a huge premium, like I did, I did buy one, the 2015, I bought at a huge premium. I do have one of those. Now, I gotta admit that the design of this, like as a whole, it's horrible. But at certain angles, it's actually pretty cool. You know? Like right here, it's cool, but I don't know, man. It's just not, it's too, it's too busy. It's too busy. I think um, there's an extra nine there. That's definitely cool. And these are cheap uh, compared to other sovereigns. So it's a good product. I'm not saying it's a bad product. Uh, I, I have several of them, so I can't say it's a bad product. Um, given the choice though, if you, if you said, Josh, do you want this or this? I think you guys know. Now I will say, uh, milk spotting is a bigger problem for Britannias. And you're getting one less nine, I believe. Yeah, 0.999. So, but I don't care about that. Fine silver is fine silver, guys. If you're uh, wanting to pay an extra premium for 0.999, then do it. Uh, the cool thing, though, like I said, the reason this product's a good product is uh, the prices are they're in the ballpark of each other. Um, I don't know why I don't like this design. Everything about it says it should be more appealing than it is. It's just too busy. 
you know? And it sucks. It sucks. It's, and it's the reverse that really does it. It, it just... It, it seems like an opportunity was missed. It's all this busyness around the kangaroo. Like, if it was just the radial lines, maybe, and then, you know... But this, all this, eh. I don't know, man. Can you guys decide what it is about it that's... It's just off the mark. But the cool thing is I can change the design. That's no problem. Uh, and you are getting 0.999 for 0.999. So four nines versus three nines. Uh, the prices are the same. So if you do want that extra nine... Now this, if you were making colloidal silver, right? You could use either. But this is going to be a little better. A little less toxic copper in it. And that, you know, that could make a difference, a subtle difference. I don't know that it would. I doubt it. I don't think ultimately it's a big deal. But, you know, if you were to say what would be a reason to have an extra nine, that'd be a good reason, you know. So it's definitely not going to hurt. All right. So, yeah. Turn your Australian ruse into colloidal silver if you're making colloidal silver. And avoid that copper in your diet. <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching. I rambled on long enough. Uh, Eva, see us out. And uh, Finn's going crazy over there. You guys hear him? He's rustling in the bag over there. Let me make sure he's okay. He's, you know, he gets a little buck wild sometimes, I'll tell you. Buddy, what you doing? <laughs> what you doing? He don't know what he's doing. He's having fun, though. That's the important thing. All right, thanks for watching. Have an amazing day. Um... You know, just find all the collectibles of your dreams while you're awake. And if you can't find them, right? Don't blame me. Don't blame me. I uh, I showed you all this. Look at this stuff, man. Look at this. You could have this. This could be you right now with a Queen Elizabeth II Premier Deluxe Australian Kangaroo Coin. That could be you. You know, here. Here's the other end of that. Check it out. That could be you, right there. Now, there's a Rue coin that's attractive. Yeah, see that? That one's attractive. That one's cool, man. That one's cool. All right, guys. Uh, Ta-ta for now. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, Eva's taking donations for her uh, new pedicure she's going to get. Yep. So uh, keep that in mind. Take care, guys.